from ProIcoms Comms and Security. And just going to illustrate on how you can tune your satellite set-top box to uh, pick up the new frequency for RAI broadcast. So we're using the strong 4922B+. Okay, and here's our remote. So what we do first is press menu. There's a menu. Then we use the arrow keys. And it's already highlighted on installation, so I'm just going to press the OK button. Okay, the default password is just four zeros, so press the zero four times. One. I'll try that again. Okay, now we're on dish setting. So I'm just going to use the down arrow key to go to blind scan. So you'll see here the down, use the channel down. So keep pressing that to see blind scan. Okay, and then I'm gonna press the OK button in the center. Right, and it's on AsiaSat 5. Now you press the, uh, the right arrow button here on the remote to bring it to the screen over here. Now, the easiest thing you can do is just press OK. All right, and it's going to do a full scan of that satellite. This satellite dish is connected to a motor, so that's why you'll see the screen saying moving, moving to. So for the non-motorized versions, it'll just start doing a scan. So you can see now it scans from the highest transponder down, and it'll start building up a table. So if any of the satellite broadcasts like RAI, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, etc., change frequencies. Um, you can do this method to retune. Uh, this is on the strong set top box, but other set top boxes like the Glow Box, uh, Phoenix, and Sat King are very similar. It's a very similar process to do this. Okay, so we'll let it go through its thing. So with satellite, there's two polarities. There's a vertical, so you'll see the V, and there's a horizontal. <clears throat> so at the moment, it's picking up all the vertical polarity programs. And the purpose for this retune, so this is on 19th of July, 2019. And the reason why we're doing a rescan is because the Italian broadcast has just changed frequencies from 3.7 gigs to 3.85 5 gigahertz and the reason for that is because of the rollout of 5g services there's a ray broadcast it's just picked up <clears throat> sorry that came up as 35.97 but we'll see exactly the frequency now there's going to be some variations of frequency between l and b's the actual satellite frequency is always the same but the uh, cheaper l and b's because they just use uh, a cheap oscillator circuit the frequency may vary slightly, but that's okay. <clears throat> now it's doing a scan of the horizontal polarity. So as you'll see, that'll just keep going down. Almost done. So what we should have is two Ray RAI broadcasts once this scan's complete. So we've got, we should have the one on 3700 which is the one that will be going off air shortly. And then there should be the one in the 3800 meg band, which is the one that's going to continue on. So 
in Australia and most parts of the world, frequencies from 3,400 to 3,700 will be affected by uh, 5G services. So what's happening is the satellite broadcasters are actually now removing services from those transponders and going to be broadcasting from about 3,800 megs or 3,700 megs upwards. So in Australia, it looks like we're going to be moving from about 3,800 megs upwards. So now, once that's done, I'm just going to press the exit button. Okay, exit again. So that's that button there. Try and get a focus on that. There we go. All right, press exit again. Right, now I'll just press the OK button. Press OK. Oh, sorry, won't press OK. E exit again. And you can just change channels. I'm just pressing the down and up. All right, and you can see the services. I should be able to press OK, and it should bring up the channels. There we are. Like I said, this is motorized, so I'm just going to use the left and right arrow buttons till I see that new ray. This is the old ray, so I'm just going to it now. It's on channel one. Okay, TVs, e, uh, International Asia is the Spanish that's changed frequencies just recently. So I'm just going to hit the up button. Okay, and just keep going up, 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 up. There's a new ray. So I'm just going to press OK on it. All right, there we go. So the new frequency is 3862 vertical. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep checking. If that's the only ray. Yep. So it looks like the one. So 3862. And if we want to hit OK on that, there we go. Now to move the frequency, uh, the channel, to put it on channel 1. So we've got this on 337. So those of you who have got the strong set-top boxes, you can do this. Press the menu. Okay. Press the right arrow button to go to channels. I just highlighted it. Press OK. The password, if it's defaulted, is just four zeros. So one, two, three, four zeros. Okay. Go down to move channels. There we are. Okay. All right. Then press OK on that. And you'll see it's highlighted. Push the arrow up again. Then press the info button on the remote. Okay, just bear with me. Where's the info button here? Uh, there. See that? There's the info button. I'm trying to get a focus. Come on. Here it is. Info. All right. And you'll see that line appear. Just focus again. Okay. Then what you do is press the up button. Uh, actually, we'll go down. All right, keep going down until we're just above one. So you'll see the yellow button is just above one. So look, if I move it up and down, you'll see that yellow button move. Then press OK. And there we are, it's moved. <clears throat> then I'll press exit. And I'll say, do you want to save settings? Press the left button to highlight yes. Press OK. And then just keep pressing exit till you get out of it. And there we are. All done. Thank you for watching.